welcome back in today's video i am going to show you the upgraded version of our previous dynamic crud web application in this web application we have all the same features but we have added the admin and user functionality now you can select a particular username or password is whether it is is it admin and user remain all the functionalities will remain same as like our version one so in this uh, web application what we have changed and what we have added i will uh, 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 give you overview later on i will explain you all the concepts again for our new viewers so i have just added now your user for example i am uh, logging it to a user id one more in the left hand side i just copy this uh, here and uh, paste it here and again paste it here and click on this login and when i click on this login so now you can able to see my user now only uh this is a user uh, which user have only this database access so he can only able to see this database access he he don't able to see this admin select form and database sheets because we don't have access and this is a user and uh, edit term is allow and delete term is allow what is edit and delete term for example i will uh, give him a block and uh, not allowed okay I just refresh this my web application and uh, now I am going to uh, enter my username and password again and uh, click on this login so now you can able to see this is our user but it only have a particular functionality so it will load edit is blocked delete is not allowed so he can able also able to see edit perm is blocked and the load perm is not allowed change password uh, now user can able to change their password themselves easily enter your old password for example i enter my old passwords and enter a new password and uh, just click on this change when i click on this change so now you can able to see my password is successfully being changed successfully so let's have a look to the admin side uh okay in admin side now the admin have a functionality uh, let uh, in our previous version we only have we remove this for example in uh, for a while uh, we just remove this this is a system and the ad uh, no one is admin and no one is user so this user is only access this form and this database uh, but later on uh, we think that a uh, one person in our web application which should have a complete access over our uh, database our web application that will be the admin okay yes yeah that will be the admin so admin uh, how many users and how many employees and how many forms and database we have created in our uh, google sheet uh, they will be accessed by the admin so i will solve this problem how this works uh, i just delete this uh, this uh, and uh, i will make it from the scratch so you can also understand how this application really work okay so right now i am only have the form and database and uh, i just delete this uh, form and database and i just delete this okay so i i am going to refresh my web application when i refresh my web application and click on this login and uh, after the login i will able to see uh i will only able to see i am successfully login and in drop down nothing more sheet is uh, available and in database no one available when i click on this load so that particular form and that particular database is successfully load how this work okay add new in our add new you can now you can see here id name what happened if i need to add a one more thing so this is a form and uh, uh, i will add the leave date okay i will add, add the leave date i just copy this and paste it here i just copy this and paste it here and this is the date functionality uh we can use here i just copy this and paste it here no it's not required yes filter will need it okay that's perfect so now i am going to refresh my web application and the login again so now you can able to see my form is dynamically changed i don't need to write any kind of code in my web application first of all you will see record details is not of showing here because we need to click on this load when we uh, click on this load so that particular form and particular data sheet is available and click on this add new now you can see here the leave date is successfully shown here in our database so this will be work so later on uh, i feel uh, that a admin have, for example this is a form one and uh, i need to create a form two 
okay uh, i need to create a form two okay uh form two and uh, okay uh for the uh, easiness we don't enter to data again uh, i just uh, click on uh, duplicate and uh, click on this duplicate so now this okay that's fine for us okay so this is a system and in this uh, we have added uh, we will remove this uh, these two uh, for make uniqueness and uh, also we can uh, remove the join date from here for our easiness so let's that's all now we just uh, copy uh, refresh the our web application and uh, copy this copy of form and go to our login and this is a user paste it here and uh, copy of database we just copy this and uh, this is the data sheet we just paste it here and uh, click on this allow and click on this allow. this is for user uh, not actually for the admin because this is a user so in the admin site when i am logging as a admin and click on this login so now you can able to see i am successfully logged as here so in my form sheet i only able to see uh, the form sheets how this recognize the forms because whenever you create a form you must leave this form keyword in your uh, sheet name in your sheet name okay if a system recognize a form name in your sheet then it will automatically set the drop down here and the remaining all sheets will be shown here okay uh, i just copy uh, select the copy of form and select the copy of database and click on this load when i click on this load uh, now you can able to see id uh, name phone everything will be here and when i click on this add new so now you can able to see this is here okay 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 perfect what we need to do uh, if we need to add a uh, email okay email and again here the email and uh, this is a actually a text i just give him a text and it's required yes it's required okay that's perfect for me and uh, now i'm going to refresh my web application and uh, whenever you make a changes you need to refresh your web application uh, to make it alive on your uh, on your web uh, web app okay so i just select the copy of form and the copy of database and click on this load when i click on this load so now you can able to see my data is going to be successfully loaded and in my add new form the email is added so how will this work so you need to enter here the email field also okay now also the system here the ids here will also have the same uh the ids here uh will also have oh, Uh, the id have will also the same uh, in this sheet as well so these ids must match with your form fields form ids okay now all set uh now you can enter the data uh, your name and select the class uh and uh, your uh, date of birth like we'll select today and if you have any file you can choose your file and click on this save when you click on this save so your data is going to be successful uh, is to be saved in successfully in our Google Sheet. So now you can able to see the data is going to be successfully added. Okay. So now will you will see here in the real time uh, your data will be here. If you need to update this, you can simply click on this update. Now you can able to update your data as well, like grade nine, and click on this save. When you click on this save, so it will be the updated data successfully to the grade nine. Okay. So what happened? Uh, for example, now the basic term is the filters okay this is the filter one thing one more thing i want to explain you if you need a drop down you will select the drop down here and your drop down values will start from here from f to onward how much you add the values further on it will comes in your uh, drop down class uh, right now your class is a drop down so it will come here okay so this concept you also will understand and if you need filter for this data you can add the filter keyword in e column how this work you can select that you have a filters uh, in two columns uh, in the class and date of birth okay so just select the class and now you will select the grade 10 because right now here grade 10 grade 10 grade 9 and grade 6 available so it will automatically show you all these three and click on this apply filter so you can see here the grade 10 is here 
so if you want to filter the date of birth you can simply select that that part you can simply select that particular dates and uh, enter here the date here and click on this apply filter when you click on this apply filter no dates will be the available when you clear your filter so now you can able to see all the dates will be shown here okay so this is our date for uh, date functionality feature date, fil uh, date filters and uh, like this you can create your own customized uh, web application web app grid web application as per your own need so hope so you like this video you like this concept this is the upgraded version of our previous dynamic web application so make hope so you like it thank you very much